And a good Wednesday afternoon, Roger Hill of Weathering Heights Consulting, Velco Weather Hazards Forecaster, looking at the storm system currently right now. Of course, we have that sort of Neapolitan ice cream, if you will. Snow with the bluer colors here. We have that mix of sleet and freezing rain. Uh, you can see the reporting stations with the drops here. That's freezing rain. And all of this storm is kind of sliding eastward and then also lifting a little bit northward. And then, of course, we have rain and this area here, this is the uh, warm sector with instability and thunderstorms occurring uh, across portions of uh, the country as well in the mid-Mississippi Valley and working toward the Ohio River Valley. Our main concern, however, is going to be this warm frontal action, this band, if you will, and it's going to be moving in and then lifting northward. The sleet and freezing rain mixing line is going to be approximately through Rutland into Windsor County, perhaps into Addison to Orange County uh, at its maximum. And it may at one point even spread all the way to the Canadian border somewhere along about Thursday evening. But the snows will have been long gone at that point in time. And we're looking at just minor uh, iterations of snowfall uh, basically changing back on uh, Thursday night overnight into a portion of Friday. Let's take a look at some computer modeling. We have the precipitation types and the Euro model on the left hand side. On the right side we have the North American Meso or NAM model. We're going to run the model. This is valid at 4 o'clock this afternoon and you can see snow incoming here. This is a mixed precipitation type, sleet, freezing rain, heavier snowfall and then lighter snowfall. Again, freezing rain, uh, mixtures of sleet, heavier snow and then lighter snow. As we run this you can see how that band is lifting northward. The mixing line begins to enter parts of Vermont. This is valid at about uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. So that's uh, 10 o'clock at night. So the snow is just now getting into the Barry Montpelier area, roughly on the line of Berlin to about Bradford. And uh, models are in good agreement. Here comes the moderate to locally heavy snowfall. You can see roughly just a little bit north of the mixing line. That's where we could find the heaviest snowfall and also some wet snow. Um, it's going to start out relatively dry in this uh, the first part of the storm here. Once we get past about four o'clock in the after, in the morning tomorrow, it's going to be a little bit on the wetter side and it's still falling at moderate levels. And then it does push on out. You can see just a little bit leftovers there. This is valid now at about 10 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. So this is snow that will have fallen since 7 a.m. through about 10 a.m. Once you get past, uh, oh, into one o'clock or so or noon, the uh, snowfall is going to be much, much lighter and much more sporadic. A little bit of mixtures are going to start to work back in. And uh, this is the case, especially during the evening hours, where there's going to be a little bit of a mix of freezing rain and sleet, certainly affecting travel. You can see that the NAM is a little bit more generous on that. But then uh, now we're at, uh, at about 10 o'clock on Thursday night. That's 1 o'clock Friday morning. That would be uh, three hours later, of course, 4 o'clock in the morning. And it's changing back to snow showers and flurries and uh, just leftovers. But note, this uh, 10,005 hectopascal uh, low pressure system, 10,001 on the NAM, is going to start to uh, intensify a little bit. And that's going to start to uh, create a pressure gradient with a bit of a west to northwest wind on the backside that's going to affect especially the southern Green Mountains and notably into the Berkshires. It looks like Bennington, possibly Wyndham, Wyndham County could be affected by that. And this would be along about Friday morning. And then those winds do let up. Uh, below thresholds in the afternoon hours. All right, we have uh, total snow using the Kachera uh, ratios, which uh, applies basically the uh, surface temperatures uh, and uh, temperatures aloft uh, to the dendrites, uh, the snow that falls, whether it's dry, medium, or wet. Uh, it'll stand up the snow a lot better, of course, with uh, drier snowfall or colder conditions. And so, hence, uh, that's what this is being factored. So this is the European on the left. We have the NAM model on the right. And you can see that by 1 o'clock in the morning on Thursday morning, we've already picked up uh, about 1 inch in the northern tier regions. That ranges up to around 5 inches in Rutland County, parts of Windsor County. Pretty close to similar here for the NAM model. Models are in relatively decent agreement, and they've been that way. Now, um, this is 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. So at this point in time, with the Kachera equations, we're looking at about 9 inches uh, on the ground in many locations here. The NAM says 11 inches and possibly even more. So we still have a little bit more to add to, but this is when we're going to see much lighter intensities. And you note the snowfalls are not as big. This is 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. This would be uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. 
Finally, we got 7 p.m. Thursday evening. And uh, that's when we have a little bit of mix. But note, we're still adding a little bit of snow on the backside with that secondary low that moves on in. That changes mixed precipitation back over to scattered snow showers and flurries, mostly associated with the mountains. By the time it's all said and done, we'll take you through 1 o'clock on Friday. We're looking at basically uh, these kinds of numbers with the Kuchera equations. We're going to keep this on the um, European model. So these are the uh, equations uh, with sleet, showing where sleet is going to be falling. And you can see how it makes it up here roughly about Rutland over to almost Orange County. And uh, a little bit more of that is going to come in with a secondary low. That's going to take place, it looks like, during mainly the evening hours, Thursday evening, and then into by before midnight. That's all moved on out. Now looking at freezing rain, staying with the European model, we can see the freezing rain uh, starting to work its way north and east. Getting into southern Vermont as early as about, uh, that would be um, 2 o'clock in the morning. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we got uh, noon and then 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And then watch the secondary low start to also spread some lighter amounts of trace amounts, basically, of freezing rain or rain falling as freezing rain. Now, this is... a uh, that's going to be moving in for Thursday night, so this is valid at about 7 o'clock in the evening, Thursday evening, and then continuing through about midnight there, and it's pretty much all done at that point in time. So uh, mixing line is just getting into about the Barry Montpelier area. Most pristine snow will remain to the north of that line with wet snow loading, most likely across the sort of central areas, of, north central areas of Vermont. That's it from here. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights. Thanks for watching.